Hey guys, it's Coach Sherry here. Um, I want to come to you uh, personally with a great YouTube video and tips on the holidays. I've got a lot of people emailing me about um, how to handle it uh, with food and nutrition. They've either lost a lot of weight and they don't want to blow it, or they're at a point where they know that they need to lose a lot of weight, but they don't want to gain anymore. Um, so here's the key. I'm going to be totally honest with you and upfront. Maybe a little bit too upfront. You might not like that, but the the bottom line is you guys have to make a decision. I'm not going to beat around the bush. You have to choose to eat well. Getting in shape, dropping the pounds. There's no magic wand. Okay, I'm sorry. These pills, diets, and all this mumbo jumbo. It doesn't work. If it did, we'd all be thin, we'd all be in great shape, it'd be wonderful, but that's not the way the world works, that's not the way God made our bodies. The bottom line is having a healthy body starts right here, in your kitchen. That's why I'm here today, it starts in your kitchen. So, you have to make a decision, is it worth it? I have a lot of people telling me, well, you know, I go out to lunches with my uh, people I work with, and I'm going to company parties and holiday parties are coming up and all this stuff. How how am I going to decide healthy? How, do, how am I going to do that? Not feeling stupid. Okay, here's the thing. You're not stupid. They're the ones. They need to look at you. You need to lead. Be the leader. Who cares what they think what you eat? They might make a little jab or, oh, you know, she's eating a salad again or look at her with her salmon. But you know what? Be proud of yourself. When they say that, in reality, it's because they know they should be making that same decision as you. That's the key. So start realizing that you are important. Again, this is not necessarily about weight loss. This is about your overall health. Okay? Food makes you and keeps you healthy. Don't you want to ward off flu this season? Don't you not want to get a cold? I don't want to get bronchitis. It's especially since I'm pregnant. I don't want to get the flu. I, I don't want to go through any of that. So the only way to do it is if you eat healthy. Bump up your fruits and veggies for antioxidants. Take Shakeology. I drink Shakeology every day. It's got over 70 antioxidants in it. It's absolutely delicious and it helps me ward off illness. Um, you guys have to change your thinking. We have to start thinking of food as a nutrient not just as something fun because it really i mean even good nutrient foods are delicious it's just tweaking your thinking we're so programmed to eat processed food to go out and just get the easy way you know the quick foods and things like that but the bottom line is you have to learn how to eat well and that's pretty easy i mean it can be easy but you just got to take the time um just so you guys know i'm 18 weeks pregnant and I have every excuse in the book to say, well, you know, I'm pregnant. I can eat what I want. All right, holidays are coming. Bring on the Doritos, bring on the chips, bring on the cakes, whatever. But here's the deal. I do have cravings, but I have to ward them off because to me what's most important is after I have this baby, I don't want to have to be fighting a year of losing the weight. I don't want to do that because I did that with my first daughter and that was horrible. And I know that feeling, and I don't want to do that again. I want to be right back in the game, and I want to, after the doctor gives me the okay to start working out, I want to get right back in there and eating healthy. And not only that, but I have to provide nutrients to the baby. So if I'm doing that, I need to eat healthy. But why wouldn't I do that for my own body? You know, all these women especially, they sit there and they eat so healthy during their pregnancy or when they're breastfeeding, but then all of a sudden it goes to the wayside because they're like, well, I'm done with that. Well, why would you not want to feed your body the right foods? So here's the key. 80% of your time should be eating clean. 20% should be enjoying yourself. So I always like to think Sunday through Friday is my eat clean days. And then my Saturday is my fun day. So basically, the most successful and most fit people typically eat the same thing all the time. I usually eat the same breakfast every morning. 
I really do. It's simple. We're busy people. I don't have time to create these amazing breakfasts or things like that. So basically, I eat the same breakfast every morning, and I love it. I do change it here and there, but then on Saturdays, if I want to have a waffle or go to IHOP, we do. And I have, you know, maybe I share a pancake, couple pancakes with my husband or my daughter or something like that. But I usually don't have the full order for my just myself. I usually like sharing's great, guys. By the way, so if you desserts and things, to say hey, let's get a big piece of cake and we all share. And all you do is take maybe three or four bites, but you got what you needed, you know. So that's a great, great idea. Um, but again, the 80-20 rule: 80% 80 of the time, eat healthy; 20% enjoy yourself. No one can be perfect. The thing is about preparation. You gotta look at your week and figure out what days you're gonna have employee meetings out at a restaurant, or it's gonna be catered or something like that, or you're gonna have a holiday party. You have to figure out, okay, that day, I'm gonna be a little bit less lean, you know, I'm gonna allow myself a little bit more wiggle room. When you go to these things, most of them have veggie trays, fruit trays, things like that, but we always overlook them. Start with those first. Have your plate half full of the fruits and veggies. Then add a cupcake on the side or maybe some cheese and crackers on the side um, to balance it out. But half the plate should be fruits and veggies. Again, with the fruit tips, be careful because a lot of them have a lot of fat and sugar in them. So maybe just take a spoonful and then just dip, lightly dip, you know, in, into it. Um, the other thing, again, is the naysayers, guys. I mean, if there's people that you're close to and they're going to sit there and say, oh, you know, she's here she goes on another diet, you just look at them in the face. This isn't, isn't about a diet. I'm just wanting to eat well for myself. And it's good. And tell them it's good. So let them say what they want. But I can tell you this. If you have people around you that are consistently saying that to you and it's really bothering you, you need to eliminate them. Even if it's just for a time being, but people that do that are not your friends because people should be supporting you. If they know you have to lose weight or you're on, on the verge of diabetes and you really need help and they're not helping you, you need to say, look, take a step back for a little while because I need to do this for me. It's my health. Um, again, ask yourself if, if, if it's worth it when you're at these parties. You know, if you decide... Is it worth it for me to have a glass of wine or a cupcake? What's more important to you? Some people it's the wine and some people it's the cupcake. Make that decision. Don't have both though. Don't have both. Um, okay, we all have candy trays around the house. Here's the thing. I use mine just as decoration. It's a cute pumpkin tray. I like it. It's cute. It's just decoration. There is no reason that between now and the new year, you have to have candy trays filled all over your house. That's where you have a problem when you're grabbing, 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 grabbing. Simple. Candy stays in the garage, in the bag, or a container, in a hard place to get to. So your kids can't get to it, and you can't get to it, unless you know you have an allotted time. When your kids go out trick-or-treating, allow them to have fun next week. When they bring the bags in, dump them into a Tupperware, or they're separate Tupperware so the kids don't fight over it and tell them that after school, two o'clock, it's when they get to pick maybe three or four pieces of candy and that's it. Every day, that's all they can, that's, that's their treat time. Don't start giving them whenever they want because you're the leader. You're the one teaching your kids how to eat healthy, guys. Okay, if you're not eating healthy, they're not gonna eat healthy and guess what? If you're obese, most likely, your kids are going to be obese. Do you want that for them? Because if you're not feeling good right now, why would, again, why do you want your kids to feel that way? So, again, it's not depriving yourself. It's just tweaking things a little bit. Being smart about it, guys. 80-20 rule, okay? Simple changes. Eliminate negative people from your life. Have people who support you. I'm here for you. Email me. Facebook me. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube. I'm going to have more things to come. Subscribe to my blog. I'm here for you. Ask me any questions. Nothing stupid. Um, and I just want you guys to be healthy and live a really long life. All right. Thanks. And until next time, have a great day. Bye.